pretty sharp but glaringly ugly game. Good work. Wow, thanks, Mr. Kruger. Thankfully, that's not something you have to worry about with this video, though, because here we're only looking at the very cream of the 4K crop. Though the following games aren't set in order, they are all technical triumphs that blossom when you ramp up the resolution to 4K. Ultra HD minigun parties, 4K saber-toothed tiger attacks, and swimming with 2160p Goliath groupers. Here are the 10 best 4K games on PC. Geralt's epic action RPG has some graphics. Hell, it may even have all the graphics. CD Projekt's Red Engine gets one seriously handsome workout in The Witcher 3, as it renders a stunningly varied fantasy kingdom and super detailed character models. Yeah, all right, that's enough. And when you crank up the res to 4K, the beardy results are all kinds of beautiful. Still on the fence about buying an Ultra HD display? Why not have a quick gander at Geralt's exquisite face fuzz and tell us you're not gagging for that monitor upgrade? Every inch of the continent looks glorious in 4K. Whether you're admiring grazing horses among the chilly pines of the Skelliger Isles, stabbing harpies on frost-covered peaks, passive-aggressively pushing folk on the gorgeous cobbles of Novigrad City, or shoving a phantom baby into a coal oven, don't worry, it's just an apparition cooked up by a demon, The Witcher 3's supremely detailed, effortlessly vibrant world looks astonishing in 4K. Just because Rockstar managed to render a huge chunk of fictional California real estate doesn't mean it skimped on the small details when making GTA V. Trevor Michael and Franklin's criminal caper is stuffed full of little visual flourishes that really shine in 4K. Admire the Los Santos skyline from the summit of Mount Chiliad. Enjoy a gentle evening saunter through the ultra HD forests of Cassidy Creek as Trevor snipes deliciously detailed deer. Gawk at the coral and algae lining Blaine County's ocean floor in your own mini sub. And savour Trevor eating a bowl of upsettingly high res stew that's probably been made from some of his murder victims. Whether recoiling at cannibalistic chili or basking in the warming glow of a stunning sunset while sampling the funfair down on Vespucci Beach, GTA V comes to brutally beautiful life in 4K. Ubisoft's Ice Age open world is one seriously sexy caveman wrecking adventure. And once you load up its HD texture pack and ramp up the resolution to 4K, Far Cry Primal is an eye-arousing mammoth maiming spectacle. Primal's Dunia engine is so prehistorically pretty, you'll savour every torchlit forest stroll, cherish those aquatic crocodile attacks, and appreciate any time a saber-toothed tiger mauls your mates in the crisp morning light. More than any other factor, it's Primal's sumptuous lighting that'll seduce your corneas. Explore the fictional valleys of Oris just as dusk is setting, and the simmering results are captivating. After all, there ain't no sunset like an Ultra HD sunset. From witnessing full-on cat carnage to lighting a burning pyre as you pretend you're calling Rohan for aid a la Return of the King, every moment in Far Cry Primal will astound your eyes with primitive 4K prettiness. This Siberian sequel was made for 4K, just like Lara's flimsy Parker was made to barely stave off hypothermia. Fire up Rise of the Tomb Raider, then whack it up to full fat Ultra HD, and the resulting snow-smothered sequel will knock your thermal socks off. Crofty's Freezing Adventure is one of the best-looking PC games of the last few years, so it's hardly surprising it looks so lush in 4K. Stunning. With extravagantly designed challenge tombs, dense wintry forests, and a brief simmering stop in Syria to sample, Rise gets plenty of opportunities to flex its high-res, partially lynx-wounded muscles. Whether you're putting Lara through her platforming paces in a dazzling, opulent orrery, laying a smackdown on paranormal samurai, or skewering Bambi and Thumper like the black-hearted fiend you clearly are, Rise of the Tomb Raider in 4K will leave you floored. We're sorry, Bambi. The real world is full of eye-offending monstrosities. It's high time you gave your beady little peepers an ultra HD treat. And there are few games that look more aquatically alluring than 4K Abzu. Giant Squid's ethereal diving sim is about as relaxing an underwater experience as you can get short of luxuriating in a champagne bubble bath after sedating yourself with horse tranquilizers. The game's strikingly stylized art is all refreshing colors, 
bold lines and stimulating light shafts, and upping the pixel count to 2160p results in an amazingly clear, watery paradise your drenched eyes will adore. Shower yourself in golden waters. Not that kind of golden waters. Let your robotic diver be swept up in a scintillating slipstream. Paddle alongside majestic whales. Go for a revitalizing swim with a magic shark so awesome you'll finally forgive Jaws the revenge. Absu is a sensational showcase for 4K gaming. Nothing screams Ultra HD XS like bombing along an opulent course carved out of the dunes surrounding Dubai as the world's tallest skyscraper looms in the distance. Forza 7's Hafeet Mountain Pass deserves, no, demands 4K. In truth, every single part of Turn 10's engrossing driver is worth making your graphics card wheeze over. From its painstakingly rendered garage of motors, dramatic weather effects, and the best Ultra HD tulips you'll ever clap eyes on, playing Forza 7 in 4K will delight your eyes, even if it exhausts your GPU. When you're driving around with four times the on-screen pixels of 1080p, it's easy to pick out the little details that separate Forza from the chasing pack. Gawk at the shiny exposed engine of a 1968 Dodge Dart. Read the fuel gauge on your dash. Use all that extra clarity to navigate the winding obstacle course with surgical precision. Or, you know, not. Stupid cylinders. 4K Forza, we salute you. Agent 47's brand of wet work looks positively killer in Ultra HD, probably because he shoots, strangles or boots someone off a cliff roughly every 16 seconds. Hitman's densely packed sandboxes are brimming with cool visual touches that are really boosted by 4K. Contrary to what you might think, it's not just the contract killings that benefit from the obscenely high resolution. If you don't play Hitman in 4K, you'll never fully appreciate the Paris fashion show's beautifully laid out banquet. Now that is a super sharp lobster platter. And even if ultra HD crustaceans aren't for you, you'll still enjoy the more glamorous side of 4K assassinations. Like lacing spaghetti with rat poison on a palatial villa, chilling out with an inflatable croc on an Italian beach, or strutting your stuff among the pomp and size zero circumstance on a Parisian catwalk as a slightly suspicious chrome dome model. Bald never looked better. The following statement isn't exactly a Tyler Durden size spoiler. Dice make darn pretty PC games. And no game squeezes graphical grunts out of EA's Frostbite engine quite like Battlefield 1. If you've played the World War I shooter in 1080p, you've merely fed your eyes a trench running, biplane piloting, tank smashing light lunch. To get the seven course banquet your greedy irises deserve, you need to play Battlefield 1 in 4K. Thanks to the game's globe-hopping campaign, the war-torn sights are both super high-res and hugely varied. Shoot down German bogeys in the French Alps, help Lawrence of Arabia destroy a train in a gorgeous Arabian desert, steamroll some poor farmer's fence trundling through the sun-dappled French countryside in Old Bess, aka a massive Mark V tank. Battlefield 1 looks so impressive in 4K, it almost makes us forget how rubbish we are at multiplayer. Those seductive Ultra HD views really do take the edge off a torpedoed KD ratio. Despite being saddled with annoying robot sidekicks and the worst dance moves in human history, playing Destiny 2 in 4K doesn't half paper over all that sidekick sarkiness and balked boogie. Bungie has crafted one of the best looking shooters around, and when Destiny 2 fully hits its graphical stride, the results are out of this world. Visit the rain-lashed Titan with its colossal crashing waves, or the strikingly bleached alien Everglades of Nessus, and you'll realise Ultra HD makes Bungie's richly detailed skyboxes come alive like never before. It doesn't matter whether you're battling a glorified floating Epcot centre in the EDZ, electrifying opponents with sensational guardian powers in crucible matches, or just admiring a sprawling cityscape in the shadow of the Traveller, no matter what the activity, every second of 4K cabal slaughtering action looks glorious. And as an added bonus, please enjoy this virtual eagle and its ace ultra HD feathers. And finally, we come to the one game in this video that doesn't need a beefy GPU to run at 4K. 
Just because Ori and the Blind Forest is a 2D platformer doesn't mean that it's not a 4K corker. Moon Studios' dreamy Metroidvania rocks a sumptuous art style even Studio Ghibli would admire. Be forewarned though, Ori's prologue is sad. Heck, it's so sad it makes Up's opening seem like a downright giggle fest. If you can get past the titular magic marsupial thingy and her extra adorable caretaker Naru both biting it before you even touch the keyboard,